in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, may peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and you are watching Umar Linguistics, the bilingual linguistics channel which means that my all videos will be both in Urdu and English language. So today our lecture is productivity in humans and animals language. In last lecture we discussed about the cultural transmission. And you know we are following the book The Study of Language by George Yule and its latest edition was published in February 2019. And this is chapter 2 Animals and Human Language. So first of all we will discuss productivity in humans or productivity in human language. So it doesn't mean productivity in a sense of offspring. Uh, it means productivity in language because we are discussing linguistics. So humans are continuously manipulate their linguistics resources to describe new situations and objects. And uh, if we talk about its formal definition, so a property of language that allows user to create new expressions, also called creativity or open endedness so actually what does it mean productivity so productivity mean to produce something so and it also called creativity so cre when we talk about creativity so it means a creation a new thing a new invention a new discovery and open endedness something which is always open or which does not end so uh, in human language uh, this is the property uh, that we produce new words new expressions uh, whenever we need for example i am using a laptop so when laptop was discovered so that device was not given the name so before it was invented but when it was invented so someone uh, gave this name because it was put on uh, we usually put it on our lap so it was said that it is laptop similarly tablet and a very good example is Google so Google was just the name of a company and it was just a trademark but now you know uh, it is used as a verb as well for example we may say googled have you googled it are you googling it so uh, similarly many novel utterances many novel experience we express through our language uh, like angels god and many other expressions which even do not exist in this language uh, in this world but we have given uh, these words or these objects a name and uh, similarly you know uh, every year there are a lot of words added to every dictionary so how these words are added so these are we human beings who create these new words so this is called productivity and it also means that the potential number of utterances in any human language is infinitive so actually i have to write here r that potential number of utterances in any hum human language are infinite so once again infinite mean uh, that which does not end uh, because you know uh, if you go back 20 years ago and 30 years ago there were many words which were not uh, 30 years ago but there are hundreds and thousands of words in these 30 years so we also change our language uh, passing through some years so these are uh, you can say a few uh, qualities of productivity which human beings have so now uh, we look that animals also have productivity in their language or not in their communication uh, have they have have the productivity or not so all other creatures have not such a communication system like us human beings and actually they do not have productivity and now we are going to you can say we are going to prove it with a few examples 
and in which we will discuss some experiments as well so you must know uh, this insect this flying insect it's very common in hot areas so it it is called cicada or cicada in british english it is cicada in, in american english it is cicada because as a non native speaker so i was also you can say a bit confused that uh, is it cicada or cicada and cicada so in oxford advanced learner dictionary 2015 9th edition its pronunciation is cicada in british english and uh, sorry in american english and in british english it is cicada so uh, we were talking about productivity so cicada uh, does not have productivity like other animals or like other insects you can say so cicadas have only four signals for communication similarly another example you must know this animal you must have watched it many a times at television so it is vervet monkeys so vervet monkeys have only uh, let me turn on the pencil only 36 vocal calls and it seems impossible for other creatures to produce a new signal for novel experiences or events for example uh, a cicada or a vervet monkey uh, could not uh, share his feelings of 10 years ago or uh, they could not share uh, their feelings uh, about tomorrow and about 5 years that after 5 years uh, i would be uh, a father uh, of 5 children or 10 children so they do not uh, think in this way so uh, now let's move to another experiment honey bee experiment and it's a very famous experiment by a very famous ethologist so call von frisch who was an austrian ethologist so who is an ethologist so ethologist is one who studies animal behaviors under natural conditions not under control conditions so he conducted an experiment on honey bees and he discovered that honey bees has no word for up in their language and they can't even invent it as well or oh, in other words he says uh, he said that uh, bees uh, did not have any signal for horizontal uh, for vertical direction and he conducted that experiment so i am going to summarize it uh, with picture so actually uh, this experiment uh, was done on a radio station tower so suppose it a radio station tower and at the foot of the tower there was uh, there kept a hive of bees a uh, bees and at the top of the tower uh, they kept some food or you can say some nectar or some honey and then 10 bees 10 bees were taken to top of the tower to taste that food and then they brought back to the hive so that they communicate with other bees uh, for the source of nectar or the source of food so as we also uh, talked about in displacement that bees have some uh, some sort of uh, displacement in their communication that uh, they uh, dance differently for example tail wag da uh, wagging dance to um, a different type of dance to move in a certain direction so they danced to move in certain directions uh, but when uh, these 10 bees uh, were brought back to hive uh, so they started communicating with other bees uh, but what happened that uh, all the bees uh, started moving in the in that direction Actu uh, in the direction but that direction was not upwards they were started moving in horizontal directions here and there but they could not move upwards so this experiment shows uh, that bear uh, sorry bees have no words or you can say have no signal for vertical direction they only have uh, signals for horizontal directions 
and uh, uh, call von frisch he uh, wrote three books on bees uh, the dancing bees an account of the life and senses of the honey bee the dance language and orientation of bees bee their vision chemical senses and language so uh, this is the person call von frisch and uh, he has died actually and uh, george will has also provided the brief summary of this experiment which i have provided in the video description and in the last slide i also explained uh, that experiment uh, in briefly call von frisch was also awarded nobel prize in 1973 for physiology or medicine along with nicolas uh, tinbergen and conor lorenz so just to show to show you that that he was not you can say an ordinary man or an ordinary sci scientist so whenever we read a phenomena or a person who has contributed something uh, to our knowledge so we must know about him so therefore i shared his picture and a little bit about his achievements uh, now fixed reference so what is fixed reference so all um, uh, the productivity about animals and we uh, learn that animals do not have productivity so this lack of productivity in animal communication is described or could be called as fixed reference so what does uh, fixed reference mean so fixed reference mean that in animals communication for each uh, you can say uh, for each situation they have a particular signal and that signal is used only in that situation for example uh, you may have watched uh, many videos about uh, language uh, sorry about animals and you must have observed that there are certain signals or there are certain sounds which animals produce only during mating season there are uh, many sounds uh, which uh, animals produce when uh, they are hungry Uh, and these sounds are not produced when they have uh, already filled their bellies so this is fixed reference that each signal is constrained to a particular situation or each signal um, has a specific purpose and that signal could not be used for other things for example scent based signaling so actually um, uh, many species and uh, including moths uh, they uh, produce a substance as a chemical signal which is called pheromone and uh, they produce uh, this chemical signal only when they want to attract the male and vice versa as well so many species produce this uh, chemical signal only to attract uh, their opposite so uh, uh, what does it mean that it is a fixed signal it will be produced only during mating season or only uh, while attracting now examples of fixed reference in vervet monkeys so now we are uh, looking uh, we are going to look at an experiment on vervet monkeys uh, which once again uh, you can say shows that uh, why animals have fixed reference and what what does it mean so vervet monkeys have one danger signal chatter they produce uh, this sound when there is a snake around them and when there is an eagle around them they produce this uh, danger signal uh, but these signals are fixed in terms of their reference and cannot be manipulated for example chatter could not be used for an eagle and rop could not be used for a snake Uh, hypothetically uh, supposed uh, if vervet monkeys see a flying creature which looks like snake so they must produce uh, or they will they produce this sound uh, this danger signal chatter rop hypothetically we have assumed that because they produce chatter for a snake and they produce rop rop for uh, eagle because eagle uh, is a flying creature so if there is a flying snake so they must produce a sound like this chatter rop uh, but many uh, laboratory research uh, involving snakes uh, they have uh, uh, showed and uh, they explored that vervet monkeys do not produce any kind of uh, danger signals 
uh, even uh, when a snake suddenly appears in front of them in air in air so they do not produce any kind of sound danger signal so it once again it means that they have fixed references and they cannot produce an other sound for a new creature or for a new situation unlike other humans being on the other hand uh, if we talk about uh, human beings so human beings uh, will say uh, after an initial surprise that hey watch out for that flying snake so just like i have given you many examples in the beginning that we produce many sounds even in our daily lives as well uh, which even do not exist in dictionary but we produce these sounds so uh, this is productivity and this is all about this lecture and in the last lecture we are going to talk about uh, animals uh, language uh, humans and animal language exist at dual level or not which is simply called duality so i hope you would have understood this video so you may like this video and you may give your comments in the comments box and you may point out any pros and cons so don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you